Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Stefan from Millennial Sending. In today's video, I'm going to be wearing these glasses because the lighting is too strong and uh, my eyes are kind of tired because I am kind of tired. So I'm just going to protect them with these funny matrix glasses. Okay, in today's video, as you can see in the title, we'll, we are talking about music and how music actually affects you and uh, what to do about it. Okay, let me just fix this. Never mind, I'll fix it for the next video. Oh okay. yeah, so uh, I'll cover a few concepts by which will I which I will use few paradigms which I will use to explain this be as as best as I can. So let's get started. So first concept that I wanna uh, entertain is uh, I want you to kind of see yourself as a black box, like in management when you have your business or some kind of processes. You call it a black box and uh, you don't care or you're not really sure how it works but you know when you put in a certain inputs you get a certain outputs out so if you watch yourself like a human life uh, like your uh, like yourself uh, like a black box you'll realize that the better the inputs you put in yourself the better the outputs are so basically what are the basic inputs for the most mediocre and and uh, unhappy people like mediocre like mediocre happy and then unhappy and broke and homeless and all, all those people what are their basic inputs well social conditioning schooling for like 12 or 16 years of school um maybe med other mediocre friends so they learn from each other uh, TV, reality shows, and uh, pro like uh, media propaganda stuff like that. So basically, all the things that uh, have in their agenda to keep them mediocre and keep them uneducated. And uh, so, if you have those inputs, inputs, you can really expect to have something cool come out of your life, right? So because if you have uh, bad inputs you'll have bad outputs and really good documentary there is a documentary I can't remember what na the name was um, about the best cooks in the world so basically what they discovered is when they started uh, what uh, differentiates the best ex like super best cooks from the really good ones uh, the it's not really the process of the cooking or some kind of cook this for three minutes for this for two minutes or some kind of special method or spice it's really just the ingredients so extreme like the best best cooks in the world they um, spend the most most of their time uh, looking for uh, super quality ingredients and basically the outputs uh, the inputs that they put into their recipes uh, the foods and like the pepper and like the best meats and the best cheese and stuff like that so uh, basically they spend most of the time looking for the best ingredients and that way uh, they have the best tasty food in the world okay so that's the first concept so if you look yourself as a black box uh, you have to know the be better your inputs are the better your outputs will be uh, next thing, uh, of course, if the worse the for, worse your inputs are, worse your outcomes will be. So that's the first thing we need to have in our minds when we are thinking about what kind of music we are listening to. So the next thing is the state man uh, is the state management. So state management is imp really important if you are in like sales or if you are doing call approach, uh, like game, or but really for everything in life, whether you are a dancer or like a musician or an actor or a manager or a pro programmer or whatever. So the optimal states are the, the positive states. So relax, relaxed, happy, joyous, fulfilled. And uh, from those states, usually those are the states that the best work usually comes from, whatever the area of expertise is. And really from all the sad states, depressed states and all those negative and down, downward states uh, like anger and uh, fearfulness and anxiety and stuff like that, uh, you can never produce something really quality from those states. And when you take that in mind, then you can really see how music that gets you into those bad states is really detrimental, detrimental, whatever the word is, and really bad for 
for your life in general. Uh, that was the next concept and now the third concept is hypnosis and if I were to ask you what hypnosis really is, what would you tell me? Of course, I can't really hear you right now, but if you know the definition of hypnosis, it's this. So basically hypnosis is when uh, the hypnotist bypasses your uh, critical mind, your logical mind and uh, puts its guard down because you are really not... Um, uh, we are really programmed to be defensive from a direct command. If I tell you, do this or think this, uh, your mind is really programmed to reject that thought. But if I bypass your critical mind and your logical mind and then I subtly uh, communicate the command, that's basically what hypnosis is because I'm directly speaking to your subconscious mind. And when you have that definition of hyp hypnosis, you can really see how music is a form of hypnosis too because what it does, it has all those really dancey and uh, really cool and um, uh, rhythms that make your body move and all those modern music is really basically built uh, by the... they have like uh, algorithms to build the most addictive music they can like the four chords music and like those boom chaka boom baka boom chaka boom baka those rhythms, those reggaeton rhythms and stuff like that those like Latino rhythms and also in the trap music it's like so it's it's like really addictive and it's like movie and what it does it is it enables your conscious mind because it's so overwhelmingly good and feels nice it really lets your guard down and it makes you focus on that and um what then happens is that all of those words in those songs, which are usually really destructive, destructive, they uh, bypass, um, they bypass your critical mind and they go straight in your subconscious. So you may be listening a song about destruction or mur or murder or people dying or getting sick stuff like. I remember there was this one song that that went something like, and then there is, this was like, I just get sick, 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 and I was listening. To it for like a few weeks before I realized that the, that he said in the lyrics um, I just get sick 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 choo, and something like that and the whole music video was about people being in the hospital so <laughs> I didn't even realize what I was listening to I thought that he was singing something like ski ski I don't know I just get ski 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 I don't know but it, it sounded really cool and really dancey so I w was listening to it for some time, but then I realized that he was actually sing. Uh, the whole song was about him being sick, but it's it's such a funny way. So basically, what happens there is that all that music and that nice sounds really programmed those four chords and those like tick, 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 those percussions. They're really programmed for, uh, to get for you to feel really nice when listening to it and then all those subliminal bad messaging gets into your mind like I you just get I just get sick I have to and there there's like effects like he was he was doing choo let me just see what the song is called I just get sick 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 something like that it was um it was really like really bad okay let that google uh something is bugging right now so um I'll see if I can find it. So that was the third concept. So basically, it's like a hypnosis, really. So bypasses your logical mind, right? And um, yeah, I have I had some examples in, like for my yeah, the song name is Achoo from Sky Mask and Slow. Yeah, the song name is Achoo, like when you're sick, when you when you like Achoo. Um, and like, like, and the whole song is about about sick people and stuff like that. <laughs> and you are like listening to it in the club, and it is, especially in the club. So you have all those lights and all those sounds, like, like, um, what was named the uh, horn, like the um, the boat horns and like the train horns, and like it's really strong and it overwhelms your aura. So all of those subliminal programming and you, you're maybe drunk so your logical mind is really not working so all of those bad programming can just get straight into your head so if you expect okay the next thing I wanted to say so when you look all, all of those three like black box thinking your inputs equals your outputs the quality of your outputs 
hypnosis and what was the second one let me see i my brain is the second one was oh yeah state management if you look all all of those three concepts you can see how uh, there is really like 90% of music that you are probably listening to that you should cut out right now Depending if you have goals in your life that you want to achieve or not So basically most of the music today is really toxic Really really toxic Me personally I only listen to the music that really lifts me up That gives me good emotions That gets me into the states I need Sometimes it's more of a Sometimes I listen to trap music when I need uh, the state that I'm like Yeah I'm the best I need to I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna own this, I'm gonna make the money, I'm gonna meet the girls, fuck yeah, ha, I'm such an awesome guy. Sometimes I listen to the music that's like, yeah, that makes me be happy about life, happy about helping people, about filming videos like this. Sometimes uh, I just listen to music to relax and also sometimes, really, very rarely, but I have those days where I just listen to all of that bad music, like those sad music and those folk songs that are usually sad and I listen to maybe some pop music that usually causes you to feel fear, fear of missing out a lot all of those songs that I just skip in my everyday life sometimes I have days where I either I go out or at home I just listen to that kind of music because it's good and I like music and I like dancing so even if you're a mu musician or a dancer you want to separate the music that you're playing from the music that you're listening in your everyday life okay just try doing it i know it's hard and basically the next the last thing i wanted to say before i end this video is if you think that you are strong enough so in a way that uh, you can really have shitty inputs but still produce great outputs you're fucking lying to yourself and you really need to have some humility and to realize how mechanic we actually are so we are not all those great beings like we all we are but we are at the same time we are not so basically you need to realize that um, you have some kind of proactivity depending on how much you worked on yourself and how much how conscious you are how conscious you are but uh, most of the time we are in the autopilot um, all of the people even those those like even the people who are better at being proactive and being conscious so when you realize that you want to use every single the every single drop you have of that proactivity to put structures in place which will uh, help you gain more proactivity so basically when you get that conscious um, like one hour of consciousness you want to use that to delete the music that really uh, puts you in the hypnosis and really just leave the audiobooks and maybe some music that really puts you in the positive states and really have humility to realize that uh, we are not that much in control of ourselves and if we don't watch for our, our inputs whether it's food and detoxication and like uh, like drinks stuff we drink stuff we eat and stuff like that and also the on the mental level like stuff we listen to and stuff we read like are you reading quality books or are you reading shitty ro ro like uh, romantic novels or articles online about famous people so you really have to to take everything into account when pro designing your life and uh, your goals really so yeah basically this is the concept i wanted to cover and uh, i hope you got something useful from this like this video share it with somebody who could use it i would really appreciate that and probably s that person also uh, comment below if you learned anything new, uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, you can ask me anything there or just text me like uh, for shits and giggles as they say and also you can check out my website, there is there is free stuff there and you can get it, sign up on my email list also, there is a lot of free stuff and cool special offers and services there. Basically on that note, check out my other videos, maybe you'll find something useful and uh, I'm leaving now, this is Millennial Senins, my name is Stefanos. And I'll see you in the next video.